Hey guys, quick Airbnb tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can get your iCall if you are running an Airbnb, booking.com or maybe Agoda and you want to sync your calendars to make sure there's no duplicate booking, you need to link their iCalls. So let's start with Airbnb. So let's say I want to link or sync my Airbnb calendars to my booking.com. So first is you need to select the listing that you want to sync. For example, this one. So you go into your hosting account. You have two accounts in Airbnb. You have the traveler and the hosting. Make sure you are in the hosting. Go to the listing. And then in the listing part, let me just make that as a, um, okay. In the listing part, you click the listing that you want to um, zinc and then go into the calendar section you select the listing sorry about that and then under that you should able to see these options the price settings and available availability settings the UX actually changed a bit this is not how it looks before but this is the updated so far if you are viewing this in 2025 you should able to see the same view like me okay so you have the picture here you have the calendar here and then there in the third column there's a price settings and availability settings so you click the availability settings and you scroll down and look for the connect calendars the connect calendars if you have multiple airbnb listing there's um, also a way to do that you can zinc them so they won't gonna duplicate let's say you only want to offer like you have a listing for a 2br or 1br you want to accept 1br um, you can um, have two listing and just make it let, let's say um you have a 2br condo unit and you want to also accept two guests at a lower rate it's also good that you duplicate the listing instead like if you really don't want to have a a gap with the you know with the with the um booking um you can have to listing and then interlink them to each other um, if you want to offer I'll just you know if you want to offer one br let's say for three person at this x um, price and then another listing to br for maybe six person at this y price so it's just your preference if you want to um, work on this and then, um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I would like to get the calendar linked. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna go into my booking.com. So on the booking.com, it's still the same. You go into your listing. Um, I have here, go to my listing. Usually when you log in, you should just go into your account and see the listing in here. Okay, so let's go back. Sorry. So you, you select the listing that you want to connect, which is this one. And then you go into the rates and availability and you go into the zinc calendars. Click that drop down option and then click add calendar collection. And then you paste the link that we just get from the Airbnb. And then I'm going to name that one airbnb.com and it's not that AU, that's the Philippines, PHP, and then next, and you should be good to go. Now your booking calendar, I'm just wanna, um, just wanna blur it because I don't want this to link uh, publicly access to everyone so if you want to also zinc this booking.com to your airbnb so if someone's book in airb in booking.com airbnb will also get updated you copy it so and vice versa you go into the step still the same um once you're ready copy the link um you also want to zinc the booking.com and, and vice versa 
and then I'm gonna name that booking.com and then I'm gonna add the calendar. Now they both share the same calendar. If someone book um, today, then automatically the booking, the Airbnb will be blocked as well. So it's vice versa. If Airbnb also book today, automatically booking.com will be blocked. So that's how it works. And you're not just limited to Airbnb and booking.com. Um, as we know, we do have a lot of listing sites like we have Agoda, what else, stays.com.au. And most of these listings have um they do have a, a call calendar link so just same process in the airbnb if you want to connect them just go into the availability settings and then go into the um connect other calendar okay booking.com still the same just go into the calendars and zinc it's very important guys that you connect them you it's you should not like for example you've already connected to airbnb it's very important that you also connect the booking.com in airbnb because if you only connect booking that um, airbnb to booking.com what the own booking.com will only update it if someone's book in airbnb but if someone's book in booking.com then airbnb won't be updated so make sure that you are updating both sites if you really want to sync the um the availability of your calendar and yeah aside from airbnb there's also vrbo um there's also agoda there's a lot of things there are a lot of listing but as much as possible i just want to stick to booking.com and airbnb don't just want, i just don't want to overwhelm myself but like also the agoda one is it they it takes a bit of time to to get the payout that's why i i didn't pursue agoda but booking.com is fine and also there's more traffic in booking.com I would say Airbnb is also good but so far the one that's giving me a lot of traffic is booking.com and yeah um, if ever like you also need to make sure that the status is okay in booking.com like if you add the calendar but still the status is not okay like obviously it won't gonna zinc properly you can refresh the connections just to double confirm so far this is all good but yeah if you have any question let me know comment down below and have a great day